Hey guys, what's up? So we're on the way down to Cork at the moment because I'm going to be shooting with Sean Barry today. So I'm basically going to be bringing you to everything that I'm doing today. Uh, from my car boat, my training, what I'm going to be drinking and eating. Okay, so basically this morning for breakfast, the first thing I did when I got up was go to the toilet of course because I'm water loading the last two days. And then my breakfast consists of 150 grams of egg whites and 100 grams of steak. So that is due to the sodium in the egg whites and the steak just kind of fills your stomach as well, it doesn't bloat me as well, it just reacts really well with me where chicken kind of tends to bloat me a little bit sometimes. Uh, with that I had 2 grams, um, sorry, 2000 milligrams which is 2 tablets of vitamin C, 4 tablets of dandelion root and also a tablet of potassium and they are all to help dry my body out. Okay so basically the last two days I have, three days, I have been kind of water loading. So three days before this I had six litres of water which is quite a lot. Um, I've been eating asparagus as well with pretty much every one of my meals. Dropped it by two the next day and then yesterday um, I trained and was just kind of sipping on two litres of water throughout the day. Um, got a few little cramps and stuff like that which is good in some sense but in some ways you also know that you're, uh, you're very dry and nearly too dry. So the potassium will also help with that. Um, the potassium tablets will kind of help you prevent cramping because that's the last thing you want if you're trying to hit a pose and you're cramping up. Actually it happened to Jason Ponston, I think on stage this year at Olympia and he was having to watch that, he couldn't even tense his back properly and that is sickening for a lot of athletes, it's just a horrible feeling. So I'm feeling quite good at the moment, um, you know, relatively kind of low in energy and stuff like that, but I am quite dry, so I'm happy. Really looking forward to the shoot today, it's going to be the first time I'm shooting with Sean as well. Um, might get a little cheeky little session with Matt Lucas while I'm down as well, definitely going to meet up with him as well, I'm down here, might as well. Um, yeah, so that is basically it for now, I will show you what I'm going to eat next in the next clip. got my feet up chilling if you keep your feet elevated it is literally like the equivalent of just not getting a pump in your legs basically so they look way more vascular once again did it for my last show at Mary Pro and it also worked a second my foot hit the ground there was veins everywhere so hopefully that'll happen today I know they're a lot more watery than the last time but I'm not so worried about it so got my trusty bullet powder shakers here brilliant I love these things so on the top I got my cyclic dextrin in the middle I have my vitamin C and all my tablets and in the bottom just a little pre-workout for a little bit of a pump as well. So I'm about to knock back two vitamin C tablets, a dandelion root also. So guys, so around about uh, probably 45 minutes actually away from cars. Journey is going really quickly. And it is red. I'm driving. Yeah, because she's driving, exactly. Okay, but anyways, I am tucking into this, which is a little bit of chicken again. Uh, some mushrooms in there, some asparagus, and peppers. I look so red right now. I don't know where's the lighting. Oh, whether my tan is doing something funny. Because I'm really tanned right now. I'm also feeling a lot tighter as well, so these sugary kind of carbs are obviously doing something good. Um, so yeah, around about 45 minutes away. Alright guys, so here is some of my top tips if you're doing a photo shoot or if you're going to go ahead and decide to book one because not a lot of people uh, want to maybe get on stage or something so I think a photo shoot is an excellent way for people that just want to have some sort of motivation to really get in the best shape of their life. Um, so number one tip is give yourself enough time to get lean. Don't book a shoot for like six weeks or anything like that, eight weeks, even if you are lean. Give yourself 10 or 12 or 16 weeks even if you're not that lean starting off, okay? Make sure you have enough time and get prepared. Book your shoot, decide what you want to do, decide what kind of looks you want to go for, what kind of shoot you want to do, basically. Uh, number two is, let's see, we'll bring it in a timeline here, okay? So we're staying a couple of weeks out, make sure you're lean enough once again. If you're not lean enough, you need to change your diet, you need to change your training, you need to change something. Something has to change if nothing is happening consistently. If nothing is changing, then something is do is being done wrong, basically. Okay, and actually, over the last um, 
last speaker that I have cut out um, all zero cal drinks like the monsters the coke zeros uh, stuff like that I've just cut them out simply because there's not enough research done on these to say whether or not they are somewhat good for us or bad for us personally if you actually sit down and think about it they can be good for us because how can they make something zero calorie when it's you know drinkable or it has sweeteners in it and um, a very known source a very uh, viable source of information came from a guy and said that it's actually the chemicals I believe in monsters and stuff like that bind to estrogen receptors uh, therefore holding water can lead to gyno can lead to excess water retention stuff like that so and that comes from a very valuable source as well um, so that's one thing he said to me so I just cut them out straight away and did actually notice when I cut those out believe it or not I started to dry up could be a mental thing I don't know the week but that was another thing as well so cut all that out put out anything that you think is going to affect your diet whether it's the zero cal syrups or anything like that cut it out okay then what you want to do three four or five days out is get the hair done make sure that is on point the eyebrows this is all girly stuff but it has to be done that's what a photo shoot is for you're going there to look good in a photo shoot okay so your hair uh, nails and bitty everything all right get everything done if you're lucky enough to have someone to do your tan for you get them to do it as well because your tan is massively important you do look about 20 percent more shredded with a good tan on um but make sure it's not blotchy and make sure it's not crappy if not if you don't want someone to do it for you just get a spray tan it takes all the hassle out of it as well and it's much trendier okay then what you want to do is make sure you are prepared to either play with your water or don't okay make that decision but don't just do it yourself okay get a reputable source um, once again to tell you what to do so my coach pretty much told me exactly look this is what we're gonna do this is gonna cause a minimal rebound as well which is very important for someone like me who's going to stage in two weeks time I need a minimal rebound off this if this affects my show I'm gonna look back at this and be absolutely gutted and um, you know just for a photo shoot as such it is massively important as well but it will be devastating to just lose a show because I rebounded quite badly off it. Okay, so make sure you have vitamin C tablets, your um, potassium, magnesium tablets usually come together, and dandelion root extract. Okay, and you can sip on green tea as well, and you can also get dandelion root extract in a tea as well, and you can sip on that, no problem at all. Make sure you have your water loading set up, make sure you have Evian water, it is the best water. Uh, I think it's due to magnesium levels, something like that as well. Uh, once again, so make sure you have plenty of that in store. And then what you want to do is make sure you have everything prepared the night before. Don't get up the next morning and be stressed, running around the place. You end up showing up late, the photographer is pissed off, you're stressed, you're rushed, your heart rate is up, you're not going to look good. It's as simple as that. Okay, so make sure you have your clothes. Make sure you have, if you need tan again, just do an extra layer. If you have your tinted moisturizer, or everything like that, your clothes is massively important. You know, all your underwear, everything. Um, some baby wipes, stuff like that. Okay, these are all just little things that will help massively. Okay, and make sure they are all prepared the night before. And then just keep it simple. Wake up on time. Make sure also the night before actually as well, make sure you have your carb sources got. You don't want to be running around the morning before as well trying to look for your carb sources. And make sure you have your steak and eggs for the morning, stuff like that. Whatever you're going to be eating, just make sure you have it on time. And that is pretty much it. Yeah, just make sure you are prepared. That's pretty much the number one um, valuable piece of information I can give to you. And just make sure you're comfortable with everything you're doing as well. You know, I have an idea of what sort of poses you're going to hit when you're going in there. Don't be going in there with a completely blank kind of canvas. Um, most photographers are so nice to work with and they will help you massively as well. But you need to have a good base pose and then they can tweak it. They can hit different angles and so on and so forth. Okay, so there are my top tips, guys. For anyone that is wanting to do a photo shoot, um, I actually have a bit of experience in doing photo shoots so far. So if you're ever interested in doing one, hit me up an email or a message or anything like that, and I will give you help. All right, guys.
Shreds are on point. Peace, guys.